30 years of excellence in dance. Hello dear IDEO friends, we are IDEO Macedonia, my name is Trajce Petkovski and my name is Ilya Karolakovski. Wait a second, I'm the president of IDEO Macedonia and he's the general secretary. Yeah, <laughs> I take his documents. <laughs> <laughs> so our national uh, member organization, uh, Macedonian Association of Modern Dances, is founded uh, 2010 by three dance clubs, including his dance club Break a Leg. And uh, through the years, it's constantly, constantly built, uh, been growing. Now we, uh, we have uh, 20, 17, 17, clubs, 17, yeah. 17 dance clubs, and we are still growing. Yeah, we first started as a probationary member uh, with contact persons, and then we developed as a full member organization since 2012 until now, and probably we're gonna grow even more in the next 10, 20 years. Yes, Who knows? we are just starting. Yeah. The very tough question to say was the highlight of our organization, probably I would say 2010 because it was our first year and we were in the IDEO Hip Hop uh, World Championship and suddenly from our first competition we, won, we were in the final, so I can mention that, but we also during the years we had a lot of successes, world champions, European champions and he can tell you about it. Yes, yes, uh, we uh, started big, I can say, because uh, as Trajce said, in 2010, our first competition was already in the final, so everybody was expecting us to uh, be even more successful. Uh, his dance club is very successful in hip hop. Our dance club, uh, uh, we got, uh, we have two world champions uh, championships uh, in a Latin show, and that I think this is, that's the highlight of our experience in the idea. But also we, we are very good with, uh, with the contemporary and modern in performing arts. We have world champions there. Andy from uh, Gustivar also is the world champion uh, in the modern children. And many, many more dancers. And I'm pretty sure that, as I said before, we're going to have more and more talented dancers that will be in the finals and probably yes. future world and European champions. Yes, for sure. When we... Uh won our first uh, world championship in 2017. Uh, we had uh, very big recognition in our uh, country. Uh, the president of Macedonia came to our dance club. Uh, he congratulated the dancers and the teachers and uh, it was very exciting for us and uh, we were very humbled. Yeah, even with we are not uh, in the dance sport, uh, the Minister of Culture of Macedonia is also supporting the dance clubs which are going on the either European and World Championships. So uh, many of our dancers also got recognition and financial support from the government and from the counties that uh, they live in. So yeah, uh, we are supported. We want more and more will come uh, in the next couple of years. For sure. With the new president, uh, Dr. Berlibor Srdic, uh, we are expecting IDEO to grow and uh, I hope that this COVID crisis will finish very soon and finally we can go on competitions and compete and uh, hang around and uh, see our friends, our IDEO judges, our IDEO dancers and enjoying the beautiful and amazing IDEO competitions. Of course, and I, I foresee that uh, after this pandemic we will uh, grow even more with uh, more dancers, more countries involved because everybody is uh, very tired of sitting home and uh, doing nothing. So I think that uh, we have a very good future in front of us. The question is how has dance influenced my life? Uh, he got married. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. Uh, all jokes aside, I, I have been dancing all my life, so I think that uh, dance is my life. It, it hasn't influenced uh, because it's the part of, part of my life uh, for more than twenty five years now. Uh, yeah, <laughs> he wanted to say that he influenced the dance, not the dance influenced on him. No, yeah, no, he's like for Chuck sure. <laughs> What have the COVID crisis teach us? To be patient, for start, to find new ways how to see our dancers and uh, how to help them and motivate them because it's extremely hard to 
to work in an unhealthy environment in, uh, with unhealthy conditions. We all know how the COVID crisis and all the distancing is influencing on our people, on our dancers, and on our children. So, yeah, it taught yeah. us a lot of things in, in the past year. Yeah, as Rachi said, it, is, uh, it has taught us to be very patient, to be um, to think of what is important in life, and that's family. To focus on the, our family members more, uh, because before before the pandemic, we were all in some uh, mechanical state with uh, work every day, too many hours at work, uh, too many routines that we we are doing every day without thinking of the more important things. What does idea mean to us? Uh, it's a very tough question actually. It's a simple but very tough question. It means to us a lot. Ida has taught us a lot of things and have helped us uh, grow as persons and also as professionals. So there are a lot of things how IDEO means to us. Uh, it means a lot and we love IDEO. Uh, IDEO has uh, given us a work ethic, it has given us a um, a path, a motivation for, our, for ourselves as uh, dance club owners, as uh, judges and as um, teachers to the children and the dancers. Uh, also, for the children, is the biggest motivation is dance competition and of course IDEO has the best and the biggest dance competitions and that's something to look up for and prepare for. That's why we love IDEO. Our message uh, for all IDEO members um, adjudicators, dancers uh, and officials and ideal people is to love each other, support each other, uh, stay positive, uh, stay healthy. Yes, and also see you in Skopje in September because we have the ideal European Championship in Modern Contemporary Jazz and Ballet. So see you in Skopje. See you.